Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play New Horizons. Last time we got a lot of money from the king, and we also uh, repaid our debts to everybody, so now we don't owe any money to anybody. Um, okay, so we have all this money, we are now ready to start exploring the world. And the first thing we need to do is we need to get a better ship. And since we have a ton of money, why not start looking for Venetians? So we're going to go up here, and oh, what a pleasant surprise. Okay, he'll repair our ships, cool. Buying a warship for protected pirates? Well, that's no good. We definitely need to protect against those pirates. So we're going to get a used ship here. Hopefully they have a Venetian. Oh, they do. How that how convenient is that? Um, if they don't have a Venetian in Istanbul, um, you can just go around to some different ports in the area. Alexandria might have them. Um, you can look in Genoa. You know, a lot of these big ports. Just keep looking. You'll eventually find one. But yes, we're going to buy that one. 51609. Cool. I think you get a slightly bigger discount um, if you have a royal ranking. I'm not 100% sure on that, but um, okay. It isn't. We're not going to use this as our main ship, so we'll just call it BC for now, or our, or our main flagship. I'm not ready to give it the BCS title yet, but um, okay. Next thing we need to do is we need to uh, start getting some crew on there. Every little bit helps, uh, especially since we're starting out and money isn't really a commodity at this point. Well, I mean, well, it kind of is. If, if, if you know what you're doing, at this point in Ali's quest, um, money can be pretty much an object, um, as long as you just, again, know what you're doing. So, okay. Unfortunately, I know what I'm doing. Okay, so, uh, we're now going to sell our old ship, and we don't need the B anymore. We still want to sell our flagship, yes, that's fine, and we'll get on the BC. Excellent. Very good. We only have the flagship and that's fine. Okay, now we need to recruit some crew because we want to get up to 320 crew so that we can start attacking almost anybody. And what we're going to do, and I'll explain more of this when we get on the high seas, let's see. Alright. Oh, he hasn't heard anything about Sapphire, or she hasn't rather. Okay, so we're going to hire some crew here. And uh, what you want to do is you want to treat the crowd. And apparently we're a famous merchant now. Well, that's a good thing. And let's see, hey, 162 guys, pretty sweet, nice. And uh, we're going to put them all on our ship. Now, you can only hire crew once a day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the inn and stay overnight and then come back and uh, get some more crew. And I'll do that off screen. Um, also, what I was going to tell you earlier is that uh, we're going to go attack some merchant fleets because we need to build up our battle level. And I'll explain more about that when we get on the high seas. But I'll meet you guys on the high seas once I have got full crew and cargo. Okay, viewers, we're back, and uh, we're now ready to go. We've uh, got our full crew, and we're, and we're ready to go attack a merchant fleet, because we need to build our battle level. So, um, I've passed a couple um, of... That was a that was a merchant fleet that I passed earlier, a Turkish one. So we don't want to attack him. This is a Turkish battle fleet. Um, now, we don't want to attack that guy there. Even though he has a lot of Venetians, um, he's got a battle level of 30. And we're not quite ready to take him out yet. We want to avoid duels as much as possible. I really wish... I could attack Gabriel Cannoli. Um, that's Marwin has, and he's a Turkish merchant fleet. Because he's from Italy, our sworn enemy, and he only has a battle level of 12. But unfortunately, that's still pretty high for us. We need to attack a merchant fleet with a relatively low battle level. So I'm going to speed things up a little bit here. See if I can find somebody. And okay, let's see who we got here. Okay, this guy is, he is a, a merchant fleet, but he's got a battle level of 11. He's still pretty high. And even though his ships aren't very good, he still might be able to challenge us to a duel. So we're going to pass him up. And let's see who we got here. Well, he's got a battle level of 16, even though he is a merchant fleet. So not quite ready for him yet. And uh, if you just keep hanging out, you're eventually going to find somebody to attack. Let's see who we got here. Ah, here we go. Here's a good target for us. He's, uh, he's only got a battle level of 8. So I'm going to save my game real quick, and let's see what he's up to. Tunis. Hey, I've already invested in Tunis. So that's a perfect excuse for him to attack and take him out. Here we go, it's battle time! Okay, folks, here's the battle screen. We're now ready to go here with our attack. We say, stop our ship, and ready to attack. And he says, huh, why should we listen to you? <laughs> but... That's going to be his problem. Now, 
We, uh, I didn't show you this off screen, but I've actually reassigned my crew, and I've got um, 240 guys, 75% of my crew on combat. Because what we're going to do is we're actually going to rush them. We're not going to duel them just yet because we need to build up our battle levels first. So we're going to say no. And uh, he tried to rush us back and was unsuccessful. So we're going to move now. And now we're just going to go this direction just in case he accidentally gets away from us. And we say no. And victory! Yay! Just like that, I've destroyed the Spanish fleet. Ooh, an aquamarine tiara. That's nice. Now, here's what I really wanted to do, is I wanted to take these ships. Because we're actually going to be using these ships here. Uh, here in a little bit. Okay, so we're going to get a now. And we're going to call these ships A. Because we're not actually going to use these ships, we're just going to sell them to make money. Because you can, you can get a pretty good amount uh, from these. Eventually, we're going to want to, once we're ready to go and build our battle levels up by attacking a few merchant fleets, um, we're going to want to start attacking battle fleets with galleons and with Venetians so we can really start to build our fleet. Call it A. And brigantines and nows aren't really worth anything, so it's not worth... Er, that now we can't take, sorry, because it has no crew left on it since we ran it out of crew. But, um, so, and then brigantines aren't really worth anything, so we're not really going to deal with that. And they have some fish there, but you can't, fish aren't really worth anything. So, sorry, Car sorry, Carlos. Nothing personal, but... Okay, we're going to stop here in the port of Suta and sell some of our ships. Yes, that's fine. Hey, we got a level up. Excellent. Very nice. And it's allied with Portugal. Well, it's not going to be allied with Portugal for long. It's not a great port, but, you know, it's better than nothing. Okay, let's see how we get. Let's see how our levels are now. Hey, we're already at about a level of five. Well, that's nice. And our friendship with Spain is down, but our friendship with our home country has gone up. So that's a good thing. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go here and I'll show you the process of selling a ship. The first thing we're going to want to do is get this port under our grasp. And remember the rule of viewers, we're only going to want to invest about 100 times what the port is, what the value of the port is. The shipyard's only at 90. So if I invest at uh, 10,000, that should do it. Yep, it's now I allied with us, so that's good. So, uh, for, sorry, the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to transfer some of our crew because might as well fill up our crew for free. So let's move over, we'll say yes, and we'll dismiss the rest of our sailors. Good. Now we're going to want to go and just sell these ships. I'll just sell one of them, just so I can show you the process, and I'll sell the rest of them off screen. So... There's still some cargo of the ship. Yes. Cool. And we got some money for it. Excellent. All right. So not only are we uh, increasing our own money, but we are uh, we got a chance to invest in a port as well. So, okay, viewers, I'm going to, I'll meet you guys back here on the high seas in a minute. I'm going to sell the rest of my stuff off screen and I'll be right back. Okay, folks, we're back. We sold all of our ships. We're ready to rock and roll. Okay. Now. We are going to want to go and, um, actually, there's a guy that I want to hire right here in Valencia. So I'm going to go ahead and grab him and kind of show you how we advance the quest. Okay, Valencia is allied with Spain right now. But since the purpose of the game is to invest in a bunch of ports and get everyone on your side, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do some investing here. Uh, let's see, and we're going to go to the shipyard just because... There isn't really any goods here that I really need. So we're going to go ahead and go to the shipyard. And we're going to invest. Now, let's, let's just try three gold bars. That could be enough. Let's see. Yep, it is. Excellent. we got another port under our grasp. So that's a good thing. And again, you just want to keep taking these quests. Now, eventually all these countries are going to get mad at us. But for the purposes of the game, it's actually not that big of a deal. Okay, and we can get Diago Fagandis. Hopefully this guy will join our team. I might have too low of a levels, but I hope not. Because he has an act for seamanship. He'd actually be a pretty good hire. Okay, he's not ready to join us yet, but that's okay. We're going to come back and we're going to get him at some point, once we've built up our levels a little bit. And I'm looking for a guy. Hopefully I can find uh, him. Okay, I'm not sure where he is. I'm looking for Luca Ullman, so we can hire him, but... 
Uh, I guess he's not around. But that's okay. We need to just stop here and get this port under our grasp anyway. So, okay. Meet you guys back on the high seas in just a moment, and we'll make our next move. Okay, viewers, we're back. But it turns out I'm actually out of time. Well, let's see who we got here. Ooh, Italian Battle Fleet. I actually will be able to take this guy out. And I'm going to start uh, with that video next time. But until then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Take care, y'all.